Well, it's pretty difficult because while resources is a big sector in our market, uh, it's quite narrow. You can see from the leaders, BHP, Rio, uh, Fortescue, uh, and Aluca, there's only a handful of uh, big resource companies, and the smaller ones are single mine, uh, smaller, juniors have really been obliterated. So there's really only a narrow opportunity set. Uh, and the companies have come back a lot. We don't see a big opportunity for investment, but on the same way, we don't see a lot of you know, great short opportunities because the companies have come back. And generally speaking, the Australian companies are in better shape than a lot of the international companies. Well, we're really looking for commodities that are deep into the cost curve. So nickel is a good example where probably 50% of the industry globally is losing money. So that's clearly an unsustainable uh, situation. Aluminium is similar. It's not a great industry, obviously, but you know, at low 70 cents, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be some opportunities there. And so we're looking for commodities where they're deep into the cost curve, but also the producers and the value of the equity uh, is not pricing in a big recovery. So we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there, certainly with the pullback that we've seen. Uh, so you think about copper, it's come back to $2.40, but the cost curve is still probably low. It's still supportive. A lot of those companies are still making money. We have seen some production come out. Uh, Glencore made an announcement uh, only two weeks ago. But we need to see rebalancing in markets really where we see some of the oversupply come out, but also that lower price expectation factored into the valuations. Yeah, I don't see any change really to the iron ore market. We've, we've, that's been a very rational market. If you think about the different commodity markets, uh, iron ore has a, had a lot of supply come out quite quickly uh, to rebalance it. Unfortunately, it's rebalanced obviously at a lower level. Uh, the majors uh, are all operating at, at significantly lower costs still than where the, the market is. In fact, the problem with iron ore is that we still see supply coming on. So Roy Hill is about to ramp up, so there's another 50 million tonnes that will come into the market. Barley still has expansions. BHP and Rio have incremental tonnes, which they're also going to add to the market. So we still will have pressure from supply, even though we've already had a lot of supply already come out of the market, which has seen the price reductions. We just think that there's going to be a constant cap there. Um, so we don't see a big price recovery, and if anything, we risk you know, staying in this $45 to $50 uh, price range for the medium term.